It's difficult to put Alienarium 5 in, in words because it's mainly about uh, non-verbal senses. What if aliens were in love with us? I'm Dominique Gonzalez Forster. I'm an experimental artist. I was lucky to grow up surrounded with science fiction. One of my very important early memories is to see the first steps on the moon. The 70s were a very experimental moment in many ways. Science fiction was more important than classic literature, let's say. The title of the show is Alienarium 5, which is a take on the idea of aquarium and a planetarium. It's a space for extraterrestrials to sort of come and gather and to sort of celebrate um, the coming together of non-human species. During this very first visit in 1990, Dominic talked about the importance of exhibitions being, you know, multi-sensory environments. And of course also the possibility that these women actually can lead to apparitions, to visions. That's somehow very much what this exhibition is about. <laughs> It's a kind of anti-War of the Worlds vision, in the sense that War of the Worlds has traced a conflicting vision of our relation with other, other entities, other beings, other planets. Till now, lots of sci-fi film, lots of literature is continuing in that direction. I wanted to go away from this paranoid vision, and this is where the the question, uh, what if aliens were in love with us, takes place. It's not so much, uh, ooh, aliens are coming. Aliens are, are a way to discuss, to explore different art forms, different ways to care, to love. It's also about how, how we represent all sorts of otherness or differences. At the core of Dominique's practice is a sort of interdisciplinary collaborative nature. So this show wouldn't have existed without the kind of many dialogues um, and the many collaborators of who she sort of embarked on this journey with. One of them is the writer and philosopher Paul B. Preciado, who she worked with to create the alien statue that visitors can experience um, inside the park. And the idea for this work was that it's a statue in remembrance of the coming alien. Another. Um, very integral collaborator of hers is the musician Julien Perez, who has designed the soundscape um, for the various works in the exhibition. To invent or to imagine forms of beings and that are very far from what you know. This is at the center of Alienarium, the VR. I think that the the possibility in quite a short time to elaborate on perceptions that are both uh, emotional, physical, visual, is one of the things uh, VR can make possible. The piece is very much about an encounter between aliens. It's an encounter basically uh, between the viewer, uh, the user, with different extraterrestrials and it's an experience which is also relational in the sense of that uh, actually the different people who are in the room and make the experience you know connect to each other and uh, have an interdependent kind of experience so two experiences are never are never the same in the different parts of alienarium 5 there are different ways to relate to your body, there are different ways to relate to the space. Maybe the space is also conceived like a giant body, an alien body. Maybe the VR is a body inside the space. And all these possibilities of looking at, uh, but also being looked at, all this is part of Alienarium 5. 
I think one thing which is very much at the center is this interspecies connection. Uh, it's also very much an exhibition about love. It's an exhibition about, bring, about bringing things together, which otherwise, you know, would not be connected. It's an exhibition which uh, brings together all the senses, brings together different time, temporalities. So yeah, I would say it's about bringing things together rather than separation. And that's something which is a very, I think, important thing for our time today, you know. So welcome to all aliens. Welcome, a very warm welcome. <laughs>